Hey guys, what's up? It's Haley, and welcome back to the Luxie Hair Channel. So for today's video, I wanted to show you. I got my dark lip, my dark nails, and I'm just celebrating fall in all of its glory. So for today's video, I wanted to go ahead and show you 10 really simple, really easy, heatless hairstyles that you can rock on an everyday basis. And these hairstyles are all so perfect to go with those fall sweaters, fall hats, and every other fall accessory that I know you got lying in your closet. So if you're interested, just sit back, relax, and let's get into the video. Whoa, here's a shocker. So my hair is actually pretty short. I recently got a haircut, and I've really been missing my long locks that I used to have. So for today's hairstyles, I decided to incorporate my Luxie Seamless Hair Extensions, and the colors I'm going to be using specifically today are the Ombre Chestnut and the Ombre Blonde. Together, these are a perfect match for my hair. So I just grab the two shades, clip them right on top of each other, and then I go ahead and put them into my hair. So now that all my extensions are clipped in and blended, here are 10 heatless hairstyles for the fall. So heading into it right away, I want to show you this cute little half a ponytail that I always do. Instead of bringing your hair back like most people do, I actually like to bring it right up. This creates a lot more volume right at the roots and it gets your ponytail to look a lot more effortless and cute. After you have all your hair combed back, you're just going to secure that down with a little elastic. And then I like taking a little comb and actually pulling at the roots even more just to create more volume and more texture right in that area. And that's it, this hairstyle is so effortless, so chic, and it honestly suits everybody. This next hairstyle is a little bit of a variation of the half updo as well. You're just going to grab half of your hair and you're going to want to secure that down in a little pony. And then in order to hide the elastic, I just grab a strand of hair, twist it right around, and then make sure to bobby pin it right into place. And what this does is it creates the illusion of no elastic and your hair just looks knotted into perfection. So you can either sport the hair just like that, or what I like to do sometimes is create a little bun in the back. So I just twist my hair around each other, and then taking a little elastic, I secure that too. I just love it. It looks really tumblery and really nice, and so effortless as well. If you don't want your bun to droop down, another alternative is just to pin it up, and then this just cleans up the look a little bit. So this next hairstyle is perfect for those of you who love braids. After splitting my hair down to two, I'm actually going to start braiding right in the middle of my ear. As you can see, I'm incorporating more hair into the braid just so I can grab all the hair at once. Once you guys get to the bottom of the ear, you're going to want to start fishtailing. So in order to fishtail, what you actually have to do is you're just grabbing a little piece and you're bringing it back, grabbing another little piece, bringing it back. It is really simple, you can see exactly what I'm doing. I'm just grabbing a little piece from the front, bringing it back and joining it into the hair, and then grabbing another little piece, bringing it back, joining it once again. And then you repeat this process all the way down, and it gets really, really easy once you guys practice this, and it gives it a really cool textured effect. Once you guys get relatively low to the braid, you're just going to want to tie that off, leaving some excess at the bottom. And then you're going to want to do the exact same thing on the other side of your head. I definitely think that it's more flattering to pull out a few pieces in the front of my head. It just frames my face a lot nicer, which is what I like to do. And then in order to make these braids look full and thick like you guys always see on Instagram and on Pinterest, this is a trick. You're actually just going to want to pull at the braid. As you can see, I'm just taking little strands of the braid, pulling it out while holding down the elastic, and it gives it a really full look. I mean, look at that difference. That's incredible. Once your braids are all done and secure and looking all big and nice, you're all finished and I love to accessorize this hairstyle. I love adding my little fedora hat, I think it looks so cute with this and it gives me real fall vibes. After that last hairstyle, this one is a breeze. You're just taking your little front strands, you're going to twist them away from your face and then clip them right in the back of your head. And then I just like to pull at the little strands just to give them a bit more volume and that's it. It's so great, so majestic looking and it looks like you did a little rope twist. I love it. So for this next hairstyle, we're actually just going to continue off of the last one. I'm just taking two little elastics and I'm creating little pigtails right at the bottom of my ear. I'm doing that on both sides. And then once again, to hide the elastic, I'm grabbing a little piece of hair, twisting it right around, and then bobby pinning it just to hide the little excess. I thought this hairstyle was just a perfect little twist on the regular pigtails. And guys, come on, you're never too old to wear pigtails. They're still my favorite hairstyle, even today. This next hairstyle is by far one of my favorites and so perfect for those of you that are scared of doing braids. You're just going to want to grab two little pieces of hair just from both sides of your head as you see and then secure them together with a little pigtail. And then pulling your finger right through, you're going to want to take and twist the little ponytail that you just created. And then once again, you're going to repeat the same process, incorporating more hair each time. So as you can see, grabbing two pieces of hair, you're going to tie them together and again, you're going to pull it right through that little hole you just created. 
and then this gives you a really cool fishtail effect especially when you guys work your way down it looks so amazing and i'm not even joking i just did this five times and it's honestly such a great way to get that fishtail effect for those of you who don't know how to do a fishtail braid Seriously though, with this hairstyle, I actually fooled a couple of people. And it's also a great one to accessorize. I love adding a little baseball cap. I think it's really cute for the fall time. And it definitely complements this look really, really well. Keeping with the whole twist theme, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna twist some more. And actually to create this little twist, all I'm doing is I'm taking the front strands of my hair and then I'm kind of twisting them away in this motion and each time I'm doing it, I'm gathering a little bit more hair and incorporating it into the twist. So it's kind of like a little French twist. I love doing that and I either secure that down with some elastics or bobby pins and it gives your face a really nice framed effect and it looks beautiful. Like you're actually wearing a crown all day, every day girl. It's honestly gonna surprise you guys how easy this next hairstyle is. All you're gonna wanna do is just gather two strands right at the bottom of your hair, just like that. And then you're gonna wanna pull them back and taking an elastic, you're just gonna wanna tie that off. And you can either tie it off into a ponytail, but I like making it into a really, really loose bun. And that's it. Take out some front pieces just to frame your face and that's it. It looks so loose, so messy, so tumbler. My total fave. And pairing this look with a beanie is my absolute favorite. For some reason, it just looks really messy, but still cute. I just love it. And these hats are my total favorite, especially in the fall time. If you can't already tell, I love braid hairstyles, but I really like keeping them simple. So for this next one, you're just going to create two simple braids right at the side of your head. After tying it off, you're going to want to pull at it just to create more thickness and texture in each of the braids. And then you're just going to want to wrap it right around your head and bobby pin it into place. And if you have any loose ends, make sure to pin them down as well. And that's it guys, Greek goddess hair. How simple was that? So simple, so easy, but so B-E-A beautiful. Wear a big full blanket scarf with this and I'm telling you girl, you're trending. And for all you simple gals out there that just love rocking a simple ponytail, I'm just leaving some pieces in the front loose and then I'm just tying off my hair in the back and then taking a little piece of hair, instead of wrapping it right around, I'm actually gonna create a braid first, and then I'm gonna wrap it right around and bobby pin it into place just to hide the elastic. And that's actually it. It's so perfect for those of you that don't have a lot of time to spend on your hair in the morning, or you just like going the simple route. I love this. And if you're sporting second day hair, or it's just not a good hair day, then I got you girl, just add a hat and you're totally styling. Okay guys, so that's the video we have for you guys today. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up because that's always awesome. And comment down below which hairstyle was your favorite, which one you see yourself wearing the most. And if you do recreate any of these, be sure to hashtag Lexi Hair so we can see your beautiful recreations. If you do want to see any more of me, my channel Haley's Corner is going to be linked right down below in the description box. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to Lexi's Hair Channel because there's amazing hair and other beauty content on here as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you have a happy fall and we'll see you next time for another video. Bye!